to our recycling video at Triangle Park Community Teaching Garden here in Massey. This community garden was started 10 years ago now and is situated on council land. It is run following organic principles by a coordinator and a very enthusiastic group of volunteers. We strive to use recycled materials as much as possible, apart from the fact they're free, and our composting method saves many trail loads going to the tip. Please join us for a stroll around the garden. We have our scarecrow friends dotted around to deter people taking produce before they come and help in the garden. They are very friendly, actually. They say the answer lies in the soil, so this is what we recycle into our compost, which then obviously goes in the beds. So we have to start with mulch from the local arborist, seagrass from the council clean-up of beaches, animal manure from, from the pony club and chicken farm, and then the coffee grounds from local cafes, the sawdust from a local furniture maker who also gives us firewood in the winter, and then the fruit and veggies from the local takeaway and the supermarket and the shredded newspaper, all of which would be destined for the tip. And now we have our hardware. This is our worm farm, or usually known as a bath, and we have our worm we stored in the milk bottles and the plastic buckets, and then next door we have one of 10 blue bins which came from a food company and we use those mainly for storing water for hand watering although we do have an irrigation system now and here we have our bug hotel made from recycled pallets and recycled paint of course next to it our recycled wash basin and our recycled wheelbarrow still works doesn't look so good though. And this is our most recent project made from pool fencing and bits of carpet and bits of old bags. We have four of these bins and when the compost gets to the end it is ready to go into the garden. One mustn't forget the weeds too. We produce quite a few weeds here and they all have to go in the compost too. And we have a fish, beautifully painted by a volunteer with recycled paint, of course. And hopefully it will not be long before we do not need to use it anymore. We're now in the food forest at the upper end of the garden with our two Hugel culture beds made of recycled pallets, recycled paint, and plastic corrugated roofing sheets. Now the blue pipe you can see there, that's, we've got lots of those. It's made, they're water pipes and they're used to support the netting on our new little seedlings. Around most of our trees, we have bricks that have been given to us from building sites. We have pungas that people didn't want. We have some bench seats and a table and a lovely cane armchair. All recycled, of course. And here we are in our storage container with recycled shelving, metal shelving, some pin boards, and then some wooden shelving. And now we have our old paint buckets, a little bit worse for wear, but they still work. And then we have our plant labels made from pieces of Venetian blinds. Plenty of those. And some core flute. And then the bed number, which uses the core flute again with another hanger. And lastly, our slug beer. Slugs and snails love it. It comes from a local brewery. Doesn't taste very good because it would be thrown away, but 
It keeps the slugs at bay instead of eating our vegetables. And now outside of our storage container, which has been painted many years ago by local children. And on the deck here is a large macrocarpa slab and lots of other timber. The slab will be used to make a new potting table to replace the other one, which was actually an old barbecue. And this is David, our night watchman. <laughs>